Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here at Pop World Headquarters just outside Pittsburgh. We're playing Barracora, a Williams game from the early 1980s, designed by Roger Sharp with the help from Steve Epstein, the same people who initially created the entire concept of uh, Papa and competitive pinball leagues. Uh, big thanks to Roger for making this game. It's got uh, a lot of interesting rules and details to it, a two ball, a three ball, multi ball, and a double lanes at the top. So there is a lot to talk about here and a lot of strategy that goes into playing the game. <laughs> Barracora is a, a target shooting game at its core with uh, three targets on the left spelling bar and uh, five targets on the right spelling Akora, which I'm not really sure what a Barracora is, but uh, it's some cross between some crazy lady and a, and a hat or fish coming out of her head or something, I don't really know. Anyway, the Barracora compels you to complete these two banks of targets. And either bank will light a lock. See the bank on the right having five targets is harder to complete. But there's better value in completing it. Okay, I want to talk to you about what I did there with the numbers at the top. The numbers at the top are uh, controls that give you two different sets of awards. One for completing one, two, three, and one for completing four, five, six. The four, five, six award is better. So you would rather have four, five, six then have one, two, three. But you can't get a number in four, five, six with, unless the, the one, two, three in that same thing is already lit. So for example, if you look at the top now, if it goes down the left, I get nothing. If it goes down the middle, I get five. If it goes down the right, I get three and finish one, two, three. So I want five. So going up here, I want four, boom. That adds value to the target on the right side. And you're like, big whoop, whatever. 20,000 on that target on the right side. The value on the right side goes 20, 40 extra ball. The value on the left side goes 30, 60, 90. And even though the value on the left side is more than the value on the right side, the value on the right side stays throughout the game. The value on the left side only gets collected one time and then erases itself. So that 20,000, I can take 20,000s all day. Every time I hit that target by mistake, by on purpose, whatever, uh, it will be there for me. There's a Cora. And anytime you finish a bank of targets, you get a multiplier. Anytime you finish a bank of targets, you will light a lock. Spelling a core lights the lock in the far back of the game. Spelling bar lights the lock that's closer to you in the other saucer. Uh, passing the ball over from right to left to claim that lock is not that easy on this game, but you can just kind of pop the ball up in the air and hope that by popping it up, You'll get to pop it up like that, and then eventually get enough momentum to roll it over. So that wasn't very exciting, but because of the distance between this and the bottom of the sling, you can't do a traditional post transfer on this game, but we can give it enough momentum to get the ball bounced over or rolled over. And then once you have it on the correct side, try to cash in your lock. That is a hard shot. It's gonna take a difficult shot here, but we're just gonna pop that up in the air and try to transfer it over. It's very gentle. And when it works, and there's a one, two, three, that was not correct. So they, it's kind of a hard management, honestly, to, uh, to get that. When you finish one, both one, two, three, and four, five, six, you also light the bonus collect, so the top saucer is now lit for a lock and a bonus collect of uh, 28,000, but it can be worth a lot more than that. I'm gonna go finish bar here. And we'll see how speedy the ball drains, apparently. Um, the stuff you have lit from one ball to another does carry over, so the lock is still there. You can't just plunge the lock, but uh, it looks like you can, but you can't. The things you do, you, you lose, though, are these uh, bonus multipliers. So I just collected 3,000 in bonus. Boom. But more importantly, I locked the ball up there. And that actually, that ball lock effectively serves as an extra ball. If I lose this ball, that ball in the lock is going to kick out for me and my turn will not end. But I'm gonna to try to collect either four or five or a six and try to target this so that I get 
either the four or the five or the six and use the other one, the one, two, three light to cover up the one I'm, the one the ball is going in. The ball seems to be going four a lot, so I will set up for that and that's what I got. You can cover up and use the one, two, three to cover up the four, five, six. I know it's pretty complicated, but uh, um, it's, it's really worth learning because it's worth a ton of points in this game. There's another lock to the lower play field and this will kick out all three balls for uh, a three ball multi-ball. And you might think, oh, it's triple scoring, right? No, 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 there's no triple scoring, sorry. You just get regular scoring. But you should use this opportunity to cash out as many of the letters in Akora and Bar as possible, aim for the dangerous stuff, and uh, either light more locks, get more multipliers, get more bonus. So I'm up to 6x bonus times 7 now. Now I'm up to 12 times, <laughs> that's right, 12 times bonus. Um, and also, I actually did something which I would say is, is wrong there, which is that you don't actually want a complete spelling barrier or a core. You want to leave it right up to the edge so that when you get back down to one ball, those things are ready to complete, especially a Cora, which gives you that uh, uh, effectively a, a, a ball save. Spinner on the left is worth uh, good points, but not really enough to justify it as a shot. Uh, I tend to just go for the, the stand-up targets and try to spell bar and a Cora. Use one, two, three effectively to get uh, more stuff. That went through and give me the four, five, six. But now that top lane, that hole is worth 120,000. It'll be my bonus collect. You tend not to want to collect it unless you've got a very nice multiplier. I'd rather get the 5x first, or finish spelling a Cora and get myself even up to the maximum of uh, 25x. So there's 5x times 3x, that's 15 plus 10, that's uh, 150,000 in bonus collect. I got 30,000 for going in the lock saucer. Um, and use this multi ball to pad your bonus. Use this multi ball to, to try to spell out a Cora. Uh, use this multi ball to increase the target bonus, which we can talk about next. But you know, those lanes are, you know, it's not easy to handle those lanes, and this multi ball is, is very short, so that sucked. Hopefully, you learn from that what not to do. Let's get a Cora one more time. Finishing a Cora will give me the 4x super, super multiplier, and um, I can get a big collect up the top there. Get out of there. Ah, shoot. <laughs> no death save, but good bonus count. That was weird, it kind of counted down. <laughs> oh, whatever, points. Points is points. And where are we here? We got a Cora. Um, let's talk about that, uh, what just happened there, which is the target bonus collect. There are two stand-ups in the middle, um, and then this uh, loop around in the back called, of course, target bonus. Anytime you hit the targets to the left or the right here, it will advance these values and then going through that loop around will collect whatever it says. So 5K times two, or you can get 10K times 10, depending on hit, how many you hit each one. If you happen, if they happen to be on the same level, when you go through scores target bonus, it will stay. Uh, if, if they're on different levels, it will uh, go away. So ideally you want to get it all the way up to 25K times 10, which is 250,000, and then go through that target bonus show. Uh, so that hit, to the right side there, made that times two. And if I went through the target shot right now, it would give me some piddling points, but now it's 5K times two, 10K. And if I went through the loop, it would give me credit for whatever, it would keep it on. Ooh! Darn. Huh, ah, it's a good score. We can do better, let's play again. All right, let's see if we can't put up a better game here and uh, spell out a Cora, get some of those locks. That's a nice pickup right at the beginning to almost complete the bar. It's weird, like, 
the order in which you hit those targets, the game reads it. So sometimes like if you hit two down at once, you'll get credit for both as it just did. And sometimes it feels like you don't. I don't think there's any real rhyme or reason to it, just the, the, uh, the solid state mechanics of the game. Uh, pretty cool at the time, I think, to have all of these individually controlled drops. Uh, Eight Ball Deluxe had that as well. Uh, each, any, any one of them can pop up rather than popping up the whole set. Oh, what a bad bounce that was. Oh, wow, not sure what I could have done there. Let him flail away with the left. Okay. Trying to get uh, one of the four, five, six numbers there, but didn't pull it off. Let's get a core lock. Mm -hmm. Spelling bar gives you both multipliers. It gives you a green multiplier because it already spelled a Cora, and it gives me a yellow multiplier. The green multipliers stay on throughout the rest of the game. The orange multipliers reset ball to ball. Here, I don't want to finish one, two, three. I will actively want the ones I don't have. And I fell on in the hole there to start three ball, multi ball. So here, spelling out but not finishing a Cora would be the way to go. Advancing towards the target bonuses would be the way to go. And there was a collection of the target bonus. And because both the 5K and the, and the times two were on the same level, I got to collect the target bonus and keep the levels. Now, I'm not very good at shooting those, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm gonna try to get those advanced to another level here. Ooh, noises. As you can see, if you can get out of that multi-ball with most of either bar or a core spelled, you can stay out of, out of uh, relative danger. So for example, right here, I've got bar again, and I can go right back into that hole and start another two ball multi-ball. Use this multi-ball to spell a Cora, use it to continue building these, uh, these values, use it to continue collecting four, five, sixes. Four, five, six is the, the way to get an extra ball. Now it's worth, the collect would be worth 15,000 on the target bonus collect in the upper right. I don't want that, I want to hit the 10K here, boom. Now if I collect, it'll be worth 30,000 and I'll get to keep the value. Now it will be worth 45,000 and I won't get to keep the value. It's, this game's crazy. <laughs> so I don't want to go around that loop right now. I would lose the progress I've built up. I want to spell bar and get back into multi -bar. Don't go around that loop. Or I could hit this target here and get those back onto the same level again. There's some noise going on here. Handling that one, handling that one through six is just crazy to me. I mean, I just, I just don't do it very well. But up top right now, I've got a bonus collect available to me, which is uh, going to be 160,000. Uh, you tend not to want to collect that bonus until you have maxed it out, uh, maxed out the number anyway. Um, I think that the right thing to do right now would be to go for multi-ball on the, uh, the lock. So let me try to push this ball from left to right and back again. I'm just trying to pop it up in the air. And that was not very, not very effective, obviously. But it worked! Hooray! Oh, the very top of this, 20 times five, 25 times 10, it's, it's good value. And I'm lining up the top here to try and collect number four. Get my four, five, six. And there's another one, two, three. I don't want the one, two, three. The one, two, three is not very useful. And it almost went around the loop there.
Oh, and that's not that's not what I'm expecting to happen in the rules. I guess uh, I don't I either don't know the rules on this one that as well as I thought, or the, the rules are a different set. Right. I'm used to having it be so that if you go around that loop, not loop, the target bank in the back there. Okay, that's maxed out now on the target bank in the back. It's 250,000 for that loop around. So now we go to town on the loop. Um, I forget if it stays on at the end of the ball, so I'm gonna just shoot for it once here. I think strategy-wise, it would be better to go for Barakora shot first. But let me try to claim that target bonus at least once. All right, fine. Just complete a Cora for me then. I will, I will do as you wish. Okay, lock it up. Boom, countdown, big countdown. And I think that this is where the biggest points are in the game. I just collected uh, 15 times 20 something, and it was counting down a big pile of 15s there. I don't remember exactly how much, how many points that was worth, but it was worth a bunch. And the other big set of points is that, that uh, loop around. Oops, there's one, two, three, which I didn't really want. Get through there, oh -ho. Get through there. It's worth 250,000 for crying out loud. Get in your belly. Oh, come on now. Get through there. Yes! Oh, 250. Oh, snap, it's another 250. And, oh, now it's gone. You get twice, that's it? Okay. Well, never mind. That was worth 500,000 then. Maybe what it is. The, I, I'm guessing at the rule here, maybe you do get to collect it once at each level and let it progress. So the idea will be collect it once at five times two, once at 10 times three. Um, but the fact is I was able to collect 500,000 there uh, without much, much risk. What I would like to do next is uh, spell bar so that I can earn the uh, super multiplier, which is currently at three X and build that up to five X. So spelling bar core again would be the necessary step to get that to five X. And the reason for doing this is that then you're collect at the, both at the end of this ball and the potential collects from a bonus count off are at uh, up to 25X. I mean, already at 15X. And I'm in safe, I'm not trying to, be, to play crazy here, but I also know that uh, I've got safety behind me. And there, that gave me 10,000 and it also killed it. So if you, they're not at the same level, you lose. You lose your level. You lose the whole thing. But if they are at the same level, you get to continue. Uh, let's finish, let's finish, finish spelling Akora on the right. Oh, darn it, one, two, three again. And I swear I used to be better at uh, picking off uh, four, five, sixes, but uh, I'm out a little out of practice. Picking off a lot of one, two, threes, which if you want extra ball in this game, you have to get three, four, five, sixes, and then hit that extra ball target. So not pretty, but it worked. And that's why you don't take one, two, three. You just get basically 30,000 per one, two, three, as long as you end up hitting that saucer. But there's a four, because I blocked it off. And there is the 4X super multiplier. I know, this game is complicated, I'm sorry. <laughs> this game is really complicated. I've had some other players talk about like, why are you playing these complicated games? Play something from the 80s. Well, guess what? <laughs> this game is from the 80s and it's probably got more detailed rules than uh, Iron Man, that's for sure. I'm not sure what that's about, but it uh, sounds, sounds good. Get the 5X super multiplier. I need to complete all of Barracor again. And that was a mistake. What I should be doing there was flipping the other flipper to change the four, five, sixes instead of changing the one, two, threes. So you're seeing me hit a crap ton of one, two, threes when I really shouldn't be. 
Get in there. Boom! Hello. <laughs> that is where the points are. I th and I think that's where the points are more so than the uh, even the targets, the, the center bank target, which was really hard to explain and hard to get. Um, this is where it's at. Getting your getting your multiplier up big, then scoring big bonuses. I, I think so, and I've, I've had pretty good effect, pretty good uh, luck scoring well on uh, Barracor in uh, tournament qualifying and in, and in the final rounds as well. I don't think that there's really anything I would do too differently in the final round relative to what I'm doing now, uh, except that I'd probably drain faster. And now that shot at the top, that shot at the top is worth a, a bonus countdown but I'm not actually able to even get the shot at the top. There's already a ball in there. Now, every, every bonus advance I get is 25,000 advance instead. So let's take multi-ball if we can get it. That's an advance, that's 25,000. If you're the type who can alley pass, this would be the time to start breaking out the alley passes. Though they are friggin' dangerous on this game. Don't bother. <laughs> and uh, take a multi-ball. And right now I'm in sort of a safety mode because I have, right in front of me, I have a, uh, a ball in the, in the back lock. I wish I knew a little more about exactly what on the game gave bonus advances. I know that uh, spelling a Cora does not seem to give you bonus advances. So the, the targets, the top lanes, those are the types of things that do give you bonus advances. Looks like there was a serious bonus advance there from the left, so that, that's probably it. I really should have known that rule, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, going through the spinner. So, and uh, people, who have been, people who watched this video from the beginning and already knew that rule are probably yelling at me. Um, the spinner. All right, give me that ball back. <laughs> no, don't house ball me. <laughs> no, ah. Well, special and a nice little countdown here. Boom, count me off. Or just yell at me for a special. I don't know, whatever you're doing. Boom. <laughs> That's a big pile of points. I like it. And because I've burned the super multiplier, that 5x multiplier there is good for me for the rest of the game. I need one more completion of 4, 5, 6 to light extra ball on the, on the, in the top. If uh, extra balls are on, I don't even know if they're on. Um, and now I need three more completions of 4, 5, 6. So this game is, is all about building up stuff and then trying to cash it in for the, the, the maximum possible value. There's a uh, two ball multi-ball. And I'm gonna try to shoot the spinner a couple times during this. Uh, I think that spinner is gonna give you uh, bonus advances for the letters you've earned. So that is the, the way to get a high, quick uh, uh, bonus value. Okay, so let's get two on the left, pop it off. So with two balls on one flipper, just kind of popping one in the air, hoping that something good happens. And if it comes to the flipper you want, great. If it doesn't, and it comes to the flipper you already had it on, fine. But there, yeah, so that paid me a bunch of uh, bonus advance, I think. Sheesh. Flat, slightly flat flippers in this game compared to Oh, son of a gun. But now by leaving a Cora mostly, mostly open, gives me a chance to lock up here. Hmm, should have got four, five, six out of that. Come on, don't train me. Oh, I did that to myself. Darn it. Tilt ends game. But uh, that's a good score and 
hopefully this uh, gives you a little bit of background on the different ways to play barracor. There's a lot going on with this machine. So I would say in competition, tr think of something simple to do, try to execute, and uh, hopefully this helped you. Take care.